The DSM Explore Fiber Spinning Unit is used to collect small amounts of monofilament material. This system helps with lab scale research for processing fibers from a polymer melt. This system is typically used in conjunction with a microcompounder, which is used to blend and mix the polymer. Please refer to the microcompounder video to learn about it. Make sure to have the compounder running with 4 to 5 grams of the polymer melt inside the extruder before starting the fiber spinning process. Two mandrels can be used to spool the polymer. The mandrel closer to the microcompounder is controlled by speed. The speed dictates the draw ratio, which determines the diameter of the polymers. The second mandrel collects the winding fibers and is controlled by torque. There are also two fiber guides with each mandrel to assist in winding the fibers. An air supply can be used to actively dry the polymer as the fibers are being spooled. First, turn the spin line on using a button at the back of the machine. Connect your air supply if you are using this. Next, set the speed and torque of the machine using the control panel. The programming button, you can set a specific program allowing the instrument to automatically adjust the speed and torque during the run. The speed and torque can be set to change after a certain time or length of fibers spooled. Under the manual button, the speed, torque, pitch, guide movement, and airflow can be adjusted by hand. Be careful to set the torque and speed properly to prevent fiber breakage. Typical speed and torque values are 10 to 30. Once all of your parameters are set, push the motors on button to allow the machine to reach the specified settings. Once the microcompounder and fiber spin line are running, open the microcompounder slightly so polymer starts to come out. Using tweezers, take a bit of the polymer and start pulling to create a fiber. Put the fiber through the first guide and wind the fiber around the first mandrel several times. Then pull the fiber to the guide on the second mandrel. Wrap the fiber around the second mandrel as well and make sure it is secure as it starts spinning. You may have to try it several times if the fiber breaks. The fiber will continue to spool without assistance. Once you have the desired amount of fibers or the microcompounder has run out of polymer, press the motors button. Remove your mandrel with the wound fibers and turn off the air supply and instrument. Also clean and turn off the microcompounder.